All right, g'day guys, and welcome back tonight to another Realmworks video. Tonight we're going to be looking at doing some formatting tips. Just basically showing you some hints and tips on how to put your content into Realmworks in a way that will make it look professional um, and ideally sort of start to line up and match with the official content when it comes out. One of the things about Realmworks is it starts as a blanket, the piece of paper effectively. And if you're new to the tool, chances are you're just going to come along and cut and paste your way in and your content's going to go in and it's going to look okay. Um, but there are ways you can change things to make things look better um, and to give the, the person who's using that content more control on how that content looks when they actually do decide to use the content. So let's jump over to Realmworks and have a good look. All right, so you can, in front of me, you can see I've uh, been entering Waterdeep Dragon Heist into Realmworks. A uh, bit of a manual task, but uh, slowly getting there. Got about two chapters to go. Um, and basically, I'm going to be using this as just a, a sort of a backdrop to sort of show you some of the things that we've been doing. So when people use Realmworks, chances are they're just going to come along and cut and paste. So I'm just going to bring in here. I'm going to press Control Enter to create a new snippet. I'm going to press Control V just to paste in. And you can see here, if I turn my my GM snippet off, it, it pastes in with a just, you know, the formatting that came from the website where I got it. Okay, if I put my uh, GM formatting on, which is Control G, and it puts this nice sort of background on it to state that this is a GM snippet, you can see that all this text is coming with a, a white background. So that can be quite ugly, um, especially when you save your, your, your changes and off you go. Um, another thing that that doesn't really allow you to do is to control the, um, the the default size of your realm. So if we go into, I think it's preferences and it should be a font style. All right, we're just doing sample here. So we do 14 and we'll do snap ITC. Oh, that's gonna be ugly. All right, notice how that the text in the top snippet changed to match the player's wishes. I, I, I desired to change the formatting and the size and I could do that. The text I pasted in the bottom didn't and that's because I've brought it in with formatting. So my first tip is don't ever bring in anything with formatting. What you want to do is basically copy what you want to bring in and then press Control Alt V to bring the paste special menu up and then from there you've got a couple of options. Unformatted text as a single paragraph is really handy for bringing in text that you've got from a PDF. For anyone who's worked with PDFs a lot, you'll notice they usually have a break line at the end of each line. Now, whether that's a full paragraph or end of a paragraph or not, it doesn't matter. PDFs are really bad at formatting text. So this one here is a great option for that because it'll basically bring it as a large chunk of text. You do have to put the break lines back in, but often that can be a lot quicker than going through and taking out the break lines. So really good option. If you're working off better formatted text, like a website, unformatted text is a great option because this will come in and put it in the format that it was just without the actual formatting. So this includes your break lines. So there's a good example of that. And let's do another example of the, the unformatted text as a single paragraph. All right. So you can see they've both got very specific use purposes and they can be both be very handy. But notice that when I did this, the text came in in the format that it was basically selected. So by using the non-formatted version, I give the user control over what they want their text to look like. And if they don't like what it looks like, or say, let's say they've got a, an eyesight problem and they can't see the tiny text, they're fully empowered to go into the realm settings and actually adjust these things so that they can do it from however they like. Um, they can make it easier for themselves to see and they can change it to something that they prefer. They might just want to go with a nice uh, looking font for the theme of their, their game. Just going to put this back because that is really ugly. There we go. All right, you can see that changed back quite nicely. So that's my first tip is always come in unformatted text. It's a lot easier to do things. Now, another thing that's really good to do, and I'm just going to grab a random DP picture here. If you bring in content for, like for the content market, one of the requests from the devs is to not actually adjust the size of the pictures. So I'm just copying a picture from my clipboard here. I'm going to paste, and you can see we're bringing it as the standard size. 
And if I come over to the toolbox menu over on the right, I can come in here to thumbnail size and see it's at realm default. So the benefit here is that once again, the player is empowered to decide what they want their content to look like. Um, it's one of these. I don't know which one there is uh, content editing thumbnail image size so we can actually come through here and update all the existing thumbnails in the realm to the larger version probably shouldn't have done that because you know this is a realm I wanted to keep but no well, keep in mind that this will take longer depending on how many pictures you've got in your realm and I probably should have done this on a smaller realm Hindsight. Obviously the point being here though, it's the player's option, it's the DM's option, it's it's their choice, they're using the content, so if you're preparing something to be sold, this is always the better way to do it. If you go through and force the size of a thumbnail, you know, you're not necessarily taking it away from their power, so. Oh, tick, 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 boom. There we go. All right, you can see that's gone through and resized those images. Yeah, larger images certainly have their place. They look better in my opinion, great for screenshots and that sort of thing, um, but they can take up a lot of space. So it's always good to consider how much space you need for your images um, before you go through and save them. So let's go through and delete that. We'll save the changes and get out. All right, another thing um, that you will see get used a lot is bullet points so in here I've got some uh, bullet points that are designed to help you make better bullet points and there's a few options here so we can highlight our text and go up to format and we can see we've got bullet options now that adds a bullet and it basically brings it over now that's all right but I don't really like that bullet point um, I've done some lengthy discussions with uh, Rob from Lone Wolf and we, we came to a decision on what was a nice bullet point um, and we went with this one here. So what we do is we highlight, we go format, we use this bullet point over here which adds a small bullet point in. From there recommendation is what we do is we right click and go paragraph and add a 0 0.2 indent and it just adds a, a nice neat bullet point. So that's a great one to, to use. We certainly uh, think that one looks better. Um, highly recommend it. This is how I do all my bullet points these days. I've been trained. Okay, I'm gonna bring in here some more text. And what we're gonna discuss now is break lines. When the content starts to come out for the content market, the thing you're gonna find, I think, that is different from what a lot of people do and what the devs are doing with their official content is their use of break lines. Now up here, you can see there's an enter between each paragraph, all right, which is perfectly acceptable. It's a good way to represent a break in the text. What Lone Wolf have been doing though, is coming in here and highlighting everything but the top paragraph, hitting format, and hitting this little button here. So paragraph spacing before small. And that just adds in a neater sort of line between it. So it's enough to indicate the, the break in, the, in the, um, the text, but by not going too far and taking up too much space. There is another option there for a double. That is how I've added one into the top there. So don't ever highlight the top paragraph and do this. And then there's obviously the button there to remove it as well. All right, so that can be really handy. All right, so that's just like sort of a, a nice, neat way to to have your text formatted and uh, put it in a way that's, you know, still easy to read, but not taking up as much space. Um, I, I certainly think that's pretty good. All right, we'll scroll down to something that I was working on last night. Uh, we won't save that. Another thing you can do when you've got lots of text on a page is basically set it up so that these little sections here are automatically um, minimized. So over here on the right, for a section in toolbar icon, 
Click that button and there's a collapse by default button. If you tick that, the next time you come into this realm, uh, into this uh, topic, then everything will be basically minimized. And this is a good way to keep things clean on a page with lots of information. Um, I, I certainly do quite like this when I'm working in, a, it's not often that I do it, but when I'm working with a lot of text in one topic, it's, it's really quite, quite useful. So I certainly do recommend it. Um, Lone Wolf, if you ever watch this, people would love to be able to minimize their, uh, their topic structure over here permanently and then have it, you know, so when they restart that, that stays in the way it was. Um, but yeah, so there we go. So that's just a couple of handy tips and tricks on how to basically format your content uh, in a, a, a more mature manner, let's say. So in a way that would basically get this prepared for sale or get this prepared for distribution. Um, and as you can see, it's all about basically making it neat and tidy and giving control back to the user on how they want their content to be displayed. Um, and as I said, again, the, the biggest tip I can provide you is don't ever just cut and paste content in. Always do it without formatting. That way your content will always look the same. It'll have a nice sort of theme to it. It'll have a nice sort of you know, usability and it gives control back to the user. So I think that's a really good way to start. And I think you'll see that this is the way the content's going to look when basically start seeing it come out from the content market. Um, with that in mind, um, just a bit of news from the, the Lone Wolf guys. Uh, obviously, Rob's announced that he's been very, very sick, which is uh, what's driven a lot of the delays in the uh, Realmworks development, which is uh, incredibly unfortunate. Rob, if you ever listen to this, mate, I really do hope you are feeling better. Um, I did have the uh, honor of working with you towards the uh, the start of the year when you were obviously quite sick. So really glad to hear that you're doing better, mate. Um, best news to come out of those, he sounds like he's starting to hit the ground running. Um, he's gone through and he's updated to Realmworks to 64-bit, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, and one of the benefits that we're starting to see, uh, that apparently that we're going to be expect seeing, is that tabbing is uh, absolutely quicker. I've actually noticed a bit of an improvement myself already, but I've got a supercomputer now, so might be that. Um, but sounds like we're going to see a significant improvement, and it also means we're going to be able to work with larger map files, which is uh, very exciting. So it might be time for myself to brush off the old Forgotten Realms Interactive Atlas and see if that one still functions and see how we go. But uh, there we go, guys. That has been uh, a few uh, formatting tips. I hope it helps. Um, be uh, certainly curious to hear if you guys have any formatting tips, please add them to the, uh, the comments below and uh, perhaps I'll put them into a future video. Uh, but with that guys, I will speak to you on the forums and good night.